And hello, hello everybody, hashtag CJ McKay here, because Falter Roca, Dean Dragon Projects, and my Loco Cycle series. Specifically, it's the Monster Mash special for my Loco Cycle series, where I won't just be discussing all things AI, which is the custom for my Loco Cycle series. I have to stop saying Loco Cycle series, Loco Cycle series, Loco Cycle series, Loco Cycle series. There, I'm done, I'm not gonna say it anymore. Um, I will also be discussing all things monstrous and artificial AI related because it is the Monster Mash he did the monster man. special episode 4 and I won't say it again, the series which involves the crazy bike which is artificially intelligent. I'm just gonna let this cutscene wrap up and then I'll get straight into the action of the game and discussing all things monstrous and AI related. And here we are now, everybody, straight into the action of the series which involves a crazy bike. I said I wouldn't say it anymore, and I, I really won't. Um, throughout this series, I've been talking a lot about the Terminator 2 series, which I'm going to do a little bit more today, because it is a movie on the subject of monstrous AI. And the I am not oh. a fan of violence. But I must confess that this is a great stress reliever. Yeah, I just wanted to pause for this little conversation between Iris and Pablo. That is what I thought, Pablo. I knew you were a peaceful man. I can smell by all of the praying you are doing back there. Because... She's just hilarious! I, I don't know if she can actually understand Pablo or not. She just mentioned there he's been doing a lot of praying, which she he has. But her communication shit's, like, not working. So I don't know if she can actually understand or not. It's really confusing to me, and quite hilarious at the same time. And um, so yeah, I've been talking a lot about the Terminator series, because Spike, and um, one of the other artificial intelligence in this game, he may be an artificial intelligence or, um, or not, he might just be a computer. I'm not sure yet, because he um, hasn't made much of an appearance in the game, but he's voiced by Robert Patrick, the actor who plays the T-1000. Uh, Go! in Terminator 2, just an absolutely terrifying, monstrous AI, who, really, I saw that movie as a kid, and it terrified me. Oh god, now there's a giant truck, I'm a little bit worried. Oh god, it's a guy with a rocket launcher. Perhaps he is trying to get to Scottsburg, Indiana. I love the way she says Scottsburg, Indiana. It's just so pleasing to me. Okay, now I'm, yeah, he is shooting me with a rock, oh god, oh no, what do I do? Oh, I'm getting, no, oh, I'm getting hit with rockets. Oh dear God! What do I do? Oh, Pablo, you legend! Oh my God, Pablo, throwing fucking rockets back at the enemy. You are the best. <laughs> but he's still begging with uh, Iris to tell them that it's not his fault. And um, so yeah, the Spike in this game, a great artificial intelligence. But I, I want to talk a little bit about the um, Terminator series since is the, this is the Monster Mash special. Um, the T-1000 is just a horrifying monster of an artificial intelligence, which not art all artificial intelligence are, obviously. Iris here is just a little bit misguided, but I wouldn't call her a monster by any stretch of the word. Um, however, Terminator does cover some really scary AI, which I'll talk a little bit more about, because I've just ended Act 1 now, so... Like I was saying though, the Terminator series is a great m series of movies that covers the subject of monstrous AI. Um, it, I find it's much like the Matrix trilogy, first of all because the two main evil AI... Sizable Incline, that sounds like a ramp to me. <gasps> it is! Whippikaye! Woohoo! Sorry about that. So yeah, the two main AI in Terminator 2 and within the um, uh, Matrix trilogy, Agent Smith and the T-1000 um, are kind of quite similar. They both have that cool, calm composure of an emotionless, monstrous AI out on a mission for, you know, going to kill people. And as well as that, the, both the movies cover pretty much the same subject. Uh, they cover the kind of dystopian future idea of the singularity event. Um, the, the singularity event is a pretty 
complicated thing, which is probably going to take more time than I have in this little video to cover, but I will do my very best. Um, the singular First of all, I'll explain what a singularity is. A singularity is an idea within physics. Um, it's essentially a point in which a state or process becomes infinite, like the mass at the center of a black hole. Um, <laughs> that's that's physics-y, so I gotta explain that a little bit better. Essentially, the idea of the singularity event, um, it will be that um, uh, when technology and uh, it comes to a point which mankind are, is no longer able to cope with its sharp uh, and uh, um, fast uh, evolution. Essentially, it's the idea of exponential growth growing exponentially. Now, that guy has a has a goddamn knife. Oh, you get away from me. I'm going to curb stomp you. And um, yeah, exponential growth growing exponentially in terms of technology. Think about computers just a, a little over a hundred years ago. The first computer, or at least the first binary system machine, was the automated loom. And that was the size of a factory. And all it could produce was clothing. And um, just, a, you know, a, a couple of decades later, you're, you're looking at a computer that was about the same size, but was capable of taking mankind to the moon. It, it was uh, uh, capable of incredible and amazing things. Uh, just 20 years later, computers with twice as much capability that are half the size. And now, uh, 50 years after that, you're looking at home computers, and another 10 years later, we're looking at computers the size of our, uh, our fingernails. What's to say what the future could hold? Maybe uh, one of the main um, predictions is nanite technology. Nanite technology is, of course, computers the size of little, ti little tiny computers in our bloodstream, capable of healing us, maybe improving our DNA. Uh, the, the idea is that technology will reach a point where all of this is possible, and the Singularity event is essentially that. But some movies, like The Matrix and The... Um, Oh, I'm just coming to the end of Act 2, but I will continue to talk. Some movies like Terminator and uh, The Matrix cover a very dystopian and horrible idea that artificial intelligence and this growing technology will eventually take us over and destroy us as a species. Is it true what they say about Scottsburg, Indiana, Pablo? That the grass is green, the skies are blue, and that everyone is very cold? Por favor, Dios, suéltame! Of course you are coming, Pablo. We ride together. Always. Forever. Forever. Okay, now that is really creepy. Oh shit, there's beams being shot out of the sky. Oh dear god. Ooh. So I'm gonna move over the move past the crazy physics-y stuff that I've been talking about and move on to talking a little bit about what I was talking about la in my last episode of um, Loco Cycle. Uh, oh shit! Yeah, come on, Turbo Function. I believe in you, Iris. Yeah, last time I was talking a lot about HAL, the HAL 9000. Let me put it this way, Mr. Raymer. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. No 9000 computer has ever made a mistake or distorted information, so I am constantly occupied. I am putting myself to the fullest possible use, which is all I think that any conscious entity can ever hope to do. The heuristically programmed algorithm, algorithmic computer from 2001 Space Odyssey. Um, okay, now that was a mouthful. You gotta appreciate, understand everybody that I am a giant nerd. Um, so yeah, I was talking about, and I think HAL is probably one of the most influential, monstrous artificial intelligence. And um, I think who he was most uh, influential over, and the AI created uh, because of him, that kind of was most like him, I, I think was Gladys. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says, a horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. From the Portal series of games, they both have so much in common. One of the main things being that they control the environment of the human protagonists 
that are in the movie slash game. Um, Hal controls like a, a spaceship and thus the oxygen of the astronauts themselves in the movie, which is really just a horrifying concept. And um, Gladys controls like a, an entire scientific laboratory that she's testing on human beings. Again, a really scary concept. And what they mo have most in common is that they have the cold demeanor of a monstrous, psychopathic, emotionless, creepy-ass artificial intelligence and i love them both they're both just some of the most creepy and amazing artificial intelligence of all fiction and i just love them and of course another massive thing they have in common is the fact they were both created for the same reason for science Hey, <laughs> headbutting people, go on Pablo. Now that's a combo of 52, I am proud. Oh, and it's still going. You die. 55 combo, I feel so happy with that. Um, so, so some of my other uh, favorite uh, kind of non-monstrous artificial intelligence from movies include Johnny Five from the Short Circuit movies, Wally, Wally. Um, Robocop. My friends call me Murphy. You call me Robocop. Well, I, sorry, Murphy. <laughs> Press the little green button. That's oh. That is a line from the film Men in Black, <laughs> starring William Smith and Thomas Lee Jones. I have not watched it myself, but I have heard it is quite funny. This is great. Iris is making cultural references to cool movies too now. I love this game. Oh, so yeah, um, some of my other uh, favourite artificial intelligence that I, uh, that I haven't spoken much about last, uh, so far um, include also Chappy. Chappy, if you want to be in the gang, you have to be cool like Daddy. Look how Daddy walks. Look how cool he is. You need to keep a gangster. You need to keep a gangster. Yeah, you need to be cool. <laughs> Don't laugh, I'm being cool. Oh, cool. Even when you put a gun, you have to be cool like this. Boom! Are you try. No, I can't shoot people. What? I can't shoot them, they didn't do anything to me. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, let's worry about that later, okay? I got this, alright? You. You're doing well. If somebody really disrespects you, you can deal with them without using a gun. See this? Just stick the knife in, and they can relax and go to sleep. Yeah, you just you can just make them go sleepy weepy. It's like a nice thing. Feels nice, Chappy. Take the knife. Take the knife. Go sleepy weepy. Go like this. Yeah. You want to sleep? No, 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 no. no. You want no, no, to sleep, no, 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 no. Chappy? First Daddy's special time. Daddy's not tired. He's already slept. What is Daddy? Real gangsters use this. Chappie is just a great artificial intelligence. One of it I am definitely going to spend some time talking about today, as well as that I will be spending some time talking about Mur um, Murphy, aka Robocop. I, I think he's a quite a unique artificial intelligence in that he was originally a human, but I think what makes him an artificial intelligence is that he has been kind of, he's had his humanity removed and he's been programmed, m much like an artificial intelligence does, although he does have sentience and free will he is still programmed and i think that's what makes him an artificial intelligence sort of um but I, I, i'm not sure if you can really count them but i am going to count them for the purpose of this series and i have to say murphy is no monster robocop's the best but him and chappie both have something really in common and chappie more so and i love the movie chappie for this reason it covers the idea that Artificial intelligence are actually quite innocent, and it's not till mankind comes along and fucks them up that they become horrible monsters. I, I, okay, every human is different in the same way every artificial intelligence will be different, but we're all just products of our surroundings, and I think artificial Chappie covers that so well, and that Chappie was innocent, almost like a child. Almost like Ira seems to be, playing Duck Duck Goose, but with missiles, which is... 
Yeah, a, a pretty scary, like a, a child throwing a tantrum with warheads is pretty damn scary. But Chappie was so innocent and so amazing, and I think I'm just at the end of Act 3 now, so I, I think I'm out of time to talk about Chappie, and I got an F on that last... Pablo, God damn. do you think in Scottsburg, Indiana, the streets are paved with flags? I hear that freedom rides an eagle, which rides a motorcycle. It is beautiful. <laughs> that is just so beautifully American in the very best of ways. Freedom rides an eagle that rides a motorcycle. I want a picture of that tattooed across my chest. Iris, I love you. You are so awesome. <laughs> Everybody, I really hope you've all enjoyed this episode, this monster mash. The monster mash special for my Loco Cycle series. Um, I really need a new name for my Loco Cycle series because I don't seem to be able to stop saying Loco Cycle series Locos, please help me. I can't stop. Anyway, um, if you want to check out more of the Monster Mash It was a graveyard smash. It is a mash. Special. Um, there's an annotation up here. Um, I'm going, don't worry, after the Monster Mash It is a mash. Special is over. You won't have to hear me say Monster Mash It got on in the flag. It is a mash anymore and listen to that little clip i really hope you've all enjoyed this episode sorry it was cut a little bit short but i do these episodes the length of the levels i didn't get to talk about all the monstrous t themed ai movies and games i wanted to but i will be doing so over the course of this entire series sorry as well i didn't get to talk much about chappy he's probably who i'm gonna start talk is start off talking about in my next episode because he's such a lovable awesome protagonist who just wants to make everyone happy and go to sleep with knives um i i, I really hope you've all enjoyed this episode and I hope you've all had a great Halloween and watched some scary movies and maybe some of my scary videos. I've been suggesting some great scary movies over the course of this series um, and over the course of the Monster Mash in general, specifically in my Alien vs. Predator series, which I'm finishing off this week with episode 6. There's an annotation on screen now for when that video is uploaded. I'm probably going to be recording it today. Anyway, everybody, have a great day and... You stay classy. Oh, also, if you're new to my channel, click on my sexy nipple guns to subscribe! Hello, friend. Are you going to the Freedom Rally as well? Are you crazy? This is your last warning. Pull over now! Spike! Greetings, deserter. Spike! I insist you listen to me and try not to trip out. I will not be Big Arms Mama anymore. Now I live for the open road, babes, bikes, and frosty beverages. Iris, your open road can only lead to two possible destinations. Por favor, Spike. Soy yo, Pablo. No estoy con ella. Te lo juro, por favor. One. To our creators, where you will beg their forgiveness. And two. Two. The junkyard. Skin <laughs> <laughs>